A former Astros latest career has him working just minutes away from his former team's spring training facility in West Palm Beach. And Jason Bristol caught up with former All-Star Kent Bottenfield to see what he's up to now. Palm trees rustling in the wind, the pop of a mint, even the airplanes roaring overhead. Matty. It's all part of the soundtrack yes. behind the message from this stage of Kent Bottenfield's life. It's really mostly about being intentional. I just think whether we're talking about faith, whether we're talking about life, I think sometimes we just kind of glide through it without being intentional about what it is that we're doing. What Kent's doing is coaching. Um, the only thing, was that a curveball that you threw to? Now yourself? in his ninth year at Palm Beach Atlantic, a Division II Christian University in West Palm Beach. Hi boy. The ballpark here seats about 500 people, tens of thousands less than the big league stadiums he used to pitch in. Kent's first season with the Astros in 2001 was unfortunately his last season of pro ball due to a shoulder injury. We have a surgery time. First one of my career, last one of my career. You know, people always ask me my favorite places to play, and there are, there's some different ones for different reasons, and I'll always say is teammates when it came to Houston. My locker was next to Biggio, and he was just, you know, down-to-earth guy, and he was great to have next to you. Sometimes you feel like you have the superstars, and then don't give you the time of day. He was such opposite of that, and it bagged well the same way. What was the count right there? The players here thrilled to be around an ex-big leaguer. Honestly, it's awesome. And while they're not old enough to remember Kent the player, Thanks to YouTube, they can watch his greatest pitches. I'm a Yankee fan, so for him, I saw him strike out Derek Jeter in the All-Star game, which was like very eye-opening for me. Very good. And that's not all. Kent even has some greatest hits. He released not one, but two albums after retiring from baseball. You still singing? Uh, I'm not. I haven't for a few years. Just been totally focused on this. And that's Kent Bottenfield being intentional. When I talk about pitching is not stuff, it doesn't mean you don't have good stuff. With everything going on around him, you can understand why he's so upbeat. Uh, it's, it's a great place to be. Um, I enjoy the, the institution and what they stand for and just how I'm allowed to go about my work. Um, it's, it's really been a blessing to be here. That was Jason Bristol. Kent was named head coach shortly after the previous coach, Hall of Famer Gary Carter, died of brain cancer, unfortunately. But Kent's wife attended Palm Beach Atlantic, so he also has that connection to the school as well.